This is going to be probably one of the best games of the whole season. And this is Go Island. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are in Comox Valley at the Child Development Association showing off the silent auction items coming up for the telethon on November 2nd. Now, I was holding up earlier Vancouver versus Panthers tickets. This is number 15 in the silent auction. And you're going, well, why should I care about Vancouver versus the Panthers? Well, Willie Mitchell, who used to be a Vancouver Canuck, is now the captain of the Panthers. And remember Luongo? He's their goalie. It's going to be a raucous game for sure. And you, and it's, oh, oh, and the seat, and it's really good seats. This is number 15, so start to bid. Now, I'm wearing number two. This beautiful hand carved silver pendant is from IHOS Gallery, it's their donation to us and you can bid on this and the day of the telethon there will also be matching earrings that's number two and of course I have to talk about number one it is a WestJet two seats anywhere WestJet flies anywhere and in addition to that tickets to the BC Lions game um, anytime in 2015 how cool is that so you can fly anywhere you want that WestJet flies and they fly a lot of places now and then the BC Lions tickets for next year, they're having a pretty good year. Next year could even be better. So coming up in today's show, we have a little bit of everything, but we're going to start right here in the Comox Valley. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We are at the Comox Valley Child Development Association. With me is Pam Crow, who is the chair of the telethon committee and the chair of the board for forever and ever and ever. Have you had those treats from Orca Bakery? Oh gosh. <laughs> like so good. The ones that if you eat before noon they have no calories? Yeah, those oh, ones. Yeah, yeah. I love those. The chocolate especially, yum. Okay, we're here to talk about the silent auction because it's coming up November 2nd at the telethon, but I believe there's a way you can bid before the telethon, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, so you can, you can come by, you can have a look, and you can bid. They've got Charlene at the desk and you can bid. You might want to bid on this. Tour and tasting for eight at Coastal Black Estate Winery. Have you been there? I have. Oh, yes. it's so yes. lovely. And a yeah, it's gorgeous. It's, land. it's so beautiful. Wonderful that they are once again donating to the telethon again yes. this year. It was a very popular item last year. Very popular. Yes, very popular. love that. See, I can't bid. Can I bid on the things? Sure. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Um, and number seven. This is a patio, it's too heavy to pick up. This is a patio stone. Isn't that gorgeous? It's inlaid glass on cement and that goes into your patio and you can walk on it. It can go in your garden. Mm -hmm. We had some of those last year, really popular. Very popular, I tried to get it. I was outbid, I'd like <gasps> you to know. Um, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is done by one of our very talented staff members. Nice. And um, yes, um, these are t the type of things that we have. We are very blessed with the community supporting us again this year. We have something for everybody. We do. We even have a tap. We even have a tap. <laughs> you could tap into it. it. We have yeah. a tap from Bartle and Gibson. Yeah, that is fabulous. so cool. And so if you're came. renovating. Yeah, they just came and said, here, and said we would like to put this in your silent auction. <laughs> so all the men oh, and in the... In the um, and I'm wearing... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love Funny this. Funny how you're wearing that. Yes, I, I, always, <laughs> I always get to wear yes. So, and there's, I've mentioned it, uh, I'll mention it again. There's going to be earrings that go with this, and this is one of the silent auction items from IHOS Gallery. Yes, it is. Ramona Johnson, she just picks. Another fabulous supporter. Absolutely amazing. Okay, right now we are going to head down to Victoria, where Paul Belstein brings us a very intriguing and informative story. Have a look. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are in the Comox Valley at the Child Development Association getting ready for the telethon. All the silent auction items are out here. We're going to peruse those in a bit. And joining me now is Corrine Baynard, and she is a parent who is currently receiving support from the Child Development Association. Now, how long have you been 
receiving services? Uh, we received services for about a year and a half, and I should say that my son just aged out of the program because he was 19 years old, and we only go to 19. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so the past year and a half, he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with Asperger's disorder. Okay. And uh, we came here with a lot of challenges and a lot of concerns. Mm -hmm. I was terrified when we got the diagnosis. We'd had 17 years of, you know, thinking things were not great, but there was something going on. And when we finally got the diagnosis, I was really overwhelmed. And when I came here, the best thing that I found about this particular place was the fact I came into April's office and she said, everything's going to be okay. She really made me feel at home. We have things that we can do. There are things that can be done, even at this late stage, Excellent. and we'll do them. Excellent. Now, that's one of the reasons we have the telethon, because it's the main fundraiser for the Child Development Association, and it's been going on for 39 years. This is the 39th year. And what would you say to the general public in terms of coming out on the second for support? I would say it's so important. You have no idea what is going on in the valley. You look at kids and you just see kids. And that's all there is to it. And what we really want to see is every kid be supported. And this is a wonderful place if you're having any sort of problems, if you're having just any issues at all. You can come here and they help you. They really do help you. It makes you feel like you've got somebody that you can talk to, somebody who may have an answer that you don't have yourself or that you just didn't understand. Mm -hmm. um, they work with each child one-on-one. -on -one. They I work with them in group settings. They work on them in any way possible. So please come out and support them. They do a tremendous amount of good work for kids like mine, kids like yours, any kind of kid. Kareem, thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. your story with us. We really appreciate your time today. Thank you. And for being so open about what has gone on for your family. Thanks. No problem. All right, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. Welcome back. We are at the Child Development Association promoting the silent auction that's going to be happening from now until the telethon on November 2nd at the Sid Williams Theatre. Joining me is the lovely Pam Crow, who is the chair of all things child development. Mm -hmm. There's some great prizes like this basket from Quality Foods. This is the door, door prize, right? right? So mm -hmm. people come in and they put in their name. And if it gets pulled, they get to go home with this. That's right. We okay. are going to also be having some volunteers um, out on the street on Saturday awesome. reminding people about the telephone. Great. And if you bring your pamphlet that you are handed down to the theater, put it okay. in a basket. Excellent. And you can win a basket. Excellent. Now, and these are also incentive prizes. So this wonderful painting by Richard Krentz, a First Nations artist, Spirit of the West Coast. If you donate between $100 and 299 your name goes in a bucket. And if your name gets pulled out, you get the print. And this incentive prize, love this. This is over three hundred dollars, and yeah. you get over a name and a draw. Two nights stay and breakfast for two at the Two Eagles Lodge, an award-winning waterfront B and B on twelve pastoral acres in Union, beautiful Union Bay. Um, again, great supporters um, of the telethon, and um, we're thrilled to have them supporting us again this year. Super. Um, however, we should note that. Donations can be five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars. Yes, a um, dollar, a dollar, fifty cents. We just really encourage you to come down to the theater, donate, mm -hmm. enjoy the show. It's free. It's live, it's and it's fabulous. all local talent. And the MCs, we've got Sue Finner on and Todd Butler MCing together. That's going to be hysterical, and they'll be throwing to me out in the lobby, and I'll be interviewing people live, which is going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. We've got social media crew this year from the Update Company, Sean Kerrigan. That is going to be yeah. so fun to watch the Twitter and the Facebook feeds on that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have um, Kenny Shaw yeah. and can't Do tell you. No, nope, can't tell you. We'll okay. tell him later. Okay. Okay. So right now we're going to head up to Campbell River for the Art Beat. Have a look. That new segment from Campbell River about the art beat is just fantastic and so inspiring. Makes me want to get out and do something, something creative. Speaking of creative, this past Saturday, Gord and I had a chance to get together with the lions of Baines, their Baines Sound Lions, and they are getting creative. Have a look.
The Comox Valley Child Development Association is having their 39th telethon on November the 2nd, and I'm here with the Baines Sound Lions and a couple of cubs, and they are... Doing it for the kids! We are in Fanny Bay with the Bain Sound Lions, and we are so excited to be here. They have been raising funds for the Child Development Association for 38 years, and they've done it again this year. Joining me now is Jackie Miller. Jackie, how long have you been with the Lions Club? 10 years. 10 years. And the thing that's extraordinary to me is that this group of characters, <laughs> they walk all the way into town pushing a wheelbarrow. 32 kilometers. 32 kilometers in one day. That is so amazing. So this year, you've done it again. Are you going to tell us what you've raised so far? Or are you no, going to wait? It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. It's a secret. All right, now you've got a big event coming up that you're also going to raise some money at. Tell us about that event. We're having a mass ball, and it's going to be live music from a local band. We're going to have prizes and raffle prizes, 50-50 draws, everything to raise. We're going to have a wheelbarrow there for donations, okay. and it's going to be a really good, fun time. It's going to go from 7 until 12, that October the 25th, everybody's welcome, $10 at the door. Nice. Now, I'm feeling a little underdressed. I didn't bring my mask today, but you see some beautiful... <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, it's a pirate mask. Oh, cool. Okay, so there. How's that? So there. So you have to come right here to the Bain Sound Lions. Here at the, it's here at the Fanny Bay Hall. Yeah. Here at the Fanny Bay Hall, October 25th, to raise some funds for the Child Development Association. This is Jack Wilson, and he's been here from the for how long? How long have you been here? I moved down here from Rupert in 1985. 1985, and how many years have you been doing the wheelbarrow push all the way to Courtney for the Child Development Association? Oh, I think it was two or three times they'd done it before I got here, and okay. ever since after that, one way or the other, I've been part of it. Excellent. And uh, it's good. Now, uh, now it started you... because there was a need. Right, and there still is and a need. And we did. <laughs> we started it, we kept going with it. Now there'd be people be disappointed if we didn't. Well, that is very true, and uh, and and what you're doing is providing funds for a very, uh, for a very deserving organization oh, that betcha. is continuing to help children. Well over yeah. 900 children they support now in the Comox yeah. Valley. Well, we so had to take up. We worked with Cora Cumberland first. Oh, okay. When, when we first started, this, yes, they, were, they were up in Cumberland. Yep. And then they moved down. Oh. Fitzgerald, I think that they were using the upper story, some building or other. Okay. And then they got the one behind the library. Right. So, good. They're anchored. Yes, <laughs> they are. <laughs> All right. Well, Jack, thank you so much, and good luck on the big walk on uh, November 2nd. We're really looking forward to having you and all of the Lions come and do the wheelbarrow push that day. That is going to be extraordinary, and I can't wait to uh, find out how much money you've actually raised this year. <laughs> it's very exciting. See, I told you the Lions were creative. Love the masquerade ball idea. We're going to take a short break, and right after, I get to talk to Pam again. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Mary Ruth Harris on Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. This is Pam Crow. You should all know her by now. She's been <laughs> doing the telethon for 39 years. So these are raffle tickets. You want one of these. Why do you want one of these? Well, you want one of these because it's a hockey game. It's the Canucks versus the Sabres on January 30th. But you also get overnight VIP deluxe accommodation at George and Cordian. <gasps> cool. So, and where can we buy these lovely tickets? You can buy these lovely tickets here at the CDA. You can call in with your visa. Oh. You can go, yes, you can. Okay. You can go to Scotiabank. Okay. You can come to Ives Burger. Okay. Uh, 505 Fifth Street. Um, we'll come to you. If you want a ticket, we'll make it happen. <laughs> or two or three or four. Or and is it book of... Um, there's five in a... Yeah, five, five in, tickets okay. and books. If you want a book, it's $125. I can do the math. Okay. And good odds. There you go. And great odds. Great only odds. 300 tickets being sold. Oh. What kind of odds are that? Great oh, odds. only 300 tickets being sold. So get your ticket. 
for the hockey draw, raffle. Raffle, raffle. hockey raffle. In case you also get a, t a, a stay. I know. It's at the Georgia Court Hotel. Hotel. That's, I'm mm -hmm. serious. That's I would serious. love to stay in Vancouver for a night. Right downtown. Walk be pampered. Around. Oh, be awesome. Perfect. Okay, so right now we are going to head over to Powell River for, uh, did, you, did you know this? I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You've been watching Go Island. This is the infamous Kenny Shaw. He's going to be emceeing on November 2nd. Make sure you are there at the Sid Williams Theatre, right? You're going to be there too. Yes, as I well, am. Mary Ruth. And you've got, you're in charge of the, the silent auction items. We're standing in front of one right here, right? And all these other wonderful things have been donated. And I'm wearing one. Yeah, isn't that special? This is from IHOS Gallery. Is it's, that real silver? In it there? is. Whoa. It's silver, hand carved. Handcraft. Gorgeous. And there's going to be a pair of earrings that go with it. Adorable. I know. And look, I think this I looks like. And and I think, <laughs> I think this looks like Todd Butler. Yeah, it does. And this looks like me. I just said it did. That's pretty. Yeah. I always so, wanted And Todd truck. Butler's going to be there too. And yep. uh, what's her Helen name? Helen Austin. Sue Finneron. Sue Finneron. Helen She's, Austin. Yes. New this oh, year. Right. Yeah. Surprise announcement, Helen Austin is going to be an MC at the Child Development Association Telethon on November 2nd at the Sid Williams Theatre. It's going to be fantastic, right? That's right. <laughs> I'm a married man, yes. <laughs> That's right. All right, we will see everybody at the Sid Williams Theatre. It's going to be entertainment all day long from noon, noon until, until 8. 8. And bring your checkbook books. Bring checks, multiple checks. Right? All right. Thank you so much. We will see you on Thursday. Cheers.